Mm -hmm. yeah. Mr. David Boyle, born Cumbernaum Village, 1933. Um, uh, Mr. Boyle, could you tell us anything about your family life in the early days? Um, well, it was just so typical. The village life. My father was. He worked in the, the brickworks at Castle Carey. Mm -hmm. um, and if, there's only two jobs in his life, my father. Mm -hmm. One was the brickwork at Castle Carey, and then he finished up when he was 34 years in the Spot Hotel, mm -hmm. in the village managing the Spot Hotel. Oh, yes. So my life was, it was just really in the village. I did my schooling in Cumbernauld School. Mm -hmm. I went to the Lens Academy for a very short time and then came back to Cumbernauld and finished my senior, my senior education at Cumbernauld School mm -hmm. as well and left when I was 14. Mm -hmm. um, got a job in Stirling. At Falkirk and Alexander's, the coach, the bus people, mm -hmm. served my apprenticeship there. And then I worked with Intercity Transport when they still had their garage in the village itself, mm -hmm. in the Smithy Ends. And I worked oh, there yes. for, mm -hmm. for 16 years. Mm -hmm. uh, we moved up to uh, the old inns where they are now. And then I worked with Blackwood Hodge for 20 years, still in Cumbernauld. Mm -hmm. uh, um, and that's, you know, the uh, main thing in my, yeah. my life. That, that, that's your working life. My work, yeah. my working life in, in Cumbernauld. Schooling, it was just, it was mostly wartime schooling. Mm -hmm. Most of my schooling was done yeah. during the war. Mm -hmm. And there wasn't really an awful lot in entertainment. You had you to make your own entertainment, whether it was scouts or boys' brigade mm -hmm. or... or um, things like that. Uh, um, but was it a scout hall? Or yes, mm, yes, there, 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 there was a scout hall that was on the roadside, um, down, I know it's hard to explain now, it's Mr. McCashin, that was a garage, yeah. oh, okay. where his house is, mm -hmm. is where the, the scout hut, the scout hall was, mm -hmm. and there was a coal yard, coal merchant's place next door to mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Marshall and Goldman mm -hmm. was next door to her. Mm -hmm. the scout hall was in, was in there. Um, I was baptised in the, the church that's now the village hall. Yes. Yes. Right. Old. Yeah. Yeah. As a youngster, I did quite a bit of singing, but I still do yet. Mm -hmm. My first public performance was held where the funeral parlour now is. That oh, was the, that yes. was the, the church it, hall. It, it, that was it, it, What that was the man's name? The hall. Just heard about that. Oh, it is. This is the, oh, the, the church hall. hall. In, in the church hall, that's right. It's, uh, the, what, what's, what's now the. the public hall. No, no. What's now the funeral parlour? Yeah. That was the, the, the church hall for the church that's still yeah. here. Mm -hmm. What's the village hall now was the church, and it had a small hall down behind it that they demolished when they, when they built the new. Mm -hmm. um, and I suppose, well, entertaining. That was for the. There was a man by the name of Watson who was a local baker here on the, the concert parties for to raise funds for the soldiers when they were oh, during the war, yeah. for, for them when they came back mm -hmm. after the war. And I suppose that was my first sort of entertaining in Cumberland Old Village and I'm still entertaining the old folks here yet. Well, <laughs> and when you were, were you in the sketch? Yes, well, I was in the sketch. Where well. did you go on camping? And um, the furthest that we got, again because it, it was wartime, the mm -hmm. furthest that we got to was Cardross. Mm -hmm. That was the first, okay. furthest we got camping. But we used to go every weekend in the summer across the, the avenue behind Cumberland Old House. There was an old bothy there. Mm -hmm. And we used to go camping, get the, uh, the tents, the bell tents and the, the old trek cart. And there was a couple of dozen of us with a pod cross and pulled them. We thought this was marvellous, okay. going away for, a, <laughs> for the weekend across for the, for the camping. Yeah. And in the summer, that's the area we went swimming as well, but in the, um, the Red Burn. We used to get across oh, there to a place yes. that's known as local as the Barrel Tunnel. Mm -hmm. We dammed the burn, mm -hmm. and that's where we, we did a swim because there was no swimming pool coming mm -hmm. off. Mm -hmm. If you wanted a swimming pool, you had to go to, you had to, go to Falker. Falker. Yeah. Uh, uh, we went across there, and if you're a bit more energetic, we went the length of Fanny's side and walked up the mm -hmm. Fanny's side. Oh, yeah. and from there yeah. and, and uh, if you were lucky enough to have a bite, well, you went to bite. <laughs> <laughs> and how many were there in your family? I've got two sisters. One still lives in Cumbernauld. Lives in Cumbernauld yet. She works in the uh, local pub. And I've got the other one lives in Cunyburn. Mm -hmm. um, and did they leave school at 14 as well? No, they were, they would be 
16 when they when they left, I think, well, 15, 16, probably 16. My youngest sister, she went to Lens Academy, she finished her education at Lens Academy. The, the middle sister, she finished her education at Cumbernauld, she could leave at 15 or 16. Mm -hmm. Where about so, Cumbernauld did she come back to? Was the high school up in Lens? No, no, no. The, 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 the schooling at that time, it was only Lensy. You had to go from Cumbernauld to Lensy, and there was a bus left from Cumbernauld Station, picked you up, took you to Croy to the railway station, and then got the train from Croy to Lensy, and then it was the same returning. But again, I was but you said you came back to Cumbernauld? I came back to Cumbernauld just to finish. But at that time, Cumbernauld School was a junior secondary school, mm -hmm. so I finished my secondary mm -hmm. education at Cumbernauld School. Mm -hmm. at that time it was um, Do you remember any of the teachers that were at Cumbernauld School at that time? There was a Mr. Broadhead, was a, was one who, who lived at Common Old Station. Mm -hmm. What was known as Common Old Station, as you know that, well, there were two different, they were two different villages. Yes, yes. They were two different villages. Um, and Miss Reed, mm -hmm. who was the joiner's, the local joiner's daughter, mm -hmm. she was a primary five teacher, if I remember right. Yeah. That was the teacher before. Miss Rigg, primary four. Miss Jack, primary three. Miss McInnes, who was infants teacher when I started school, and her, her parents worked with the Burns family. They lived in the lodge house, going into Cumbernauld House, mm -hmm. up in the, the wilderness where it's demolished now, yes. but the entrance into Cumbernauld yeah. House, mm -hmm. they lived in there. Mm -hmm. And did, did you have anything to do with the big house at all? Cumbernauld House, no, the only connection ever I had with Cumbernauld House was when they, when the, um, they used to order the, the shopping, well not say shopping, fish, they got fish, fish and poultry sent out from Glasgow mm -hmm. by bus. And at that time there was a, a, a shop in the village that did the parcel for the bus. Mm -hmm. And I um, used to go in there, when I saw the bus coming in with the, with the fish, I used to go in and get it because I knew that if I took that up, I got a thruppence or a sixpence for taking it up. <laughs> <laughs> So that was that was more late. And, so and what sort of work did your sisters do? Um, my, the elder of the two, the, I'm the oldest of the family. The eldest of the two, she went to Glasgow to work. She worked in Henderson and she did a bit of flower arranging, studied flower arranging, and then she came back to Cumbernauld and worked in the spot with my mother and father. And she's worked in the, the pub industry ever since, since ever since then. Yeah. Mother, sister, um, she worked along, there was a wood, uh, a mill at Condorit, a, a grain mill at Condorit, she worked in there. And then uh, when she got married to the farmer, she stopped working, she started part-time in this work, and then she got a job working with in the office in Fourth Alloys, at Cumbernauld. And since they have closed, she's been moved to Ladbrook to work, and um, she's a, something to do with production manager or something, I don't know, just, but she never speaks about a job. No, I just know she's no. in the production side of it. And did your mother work at all? She worked in the, the spot. Oh, yes. Worked with my dad. Uh -huh. uh, she, worked, she did the cooking in the, in the kitchen. So she'd be the... quite unusual for those days working. Uh, yeah, she? I, yeah. Mm. Um, she did the cooking in the, in the kitchen. Because mm -hmm. they served meals in the, the spot. Mm -hmm. There were only three bedrooms in it. But they, 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 in fact, there was a board that come, uh, the Development Corporation at the start, with the Development Corporation, there was a board that come there to stay for a week. Mm -hmm. he, he was in digs with somebody in the village and this person was going to, Miss Jack was her name, living in the Barn Hill, she was going on holiday and he asked if he could come to the spot to stay for a week while she was on holiday and he finished up staying for nine years. <laughs> 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 he, 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 he was nine, nine years he stayed in the spot. He got to a stage he was just taking his one of the family when he was yeah. out in the morning himself he just got made his own breakfast mm. and stuff and knew where everything was. <laughs> so that was, that was quite a spot. history to the uh, hotel then. Yeah, but it's just, it's some, a very old license. I think I remember my father saying the license was somewhere between 200 year old. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, the original license. With was an old coach. A coaching house. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. So there was an old coaching house. The, the bar is such as a fairly new building, 1930 some it was built. Uh, it was just a, mm -hmm. it was a in, in between point between mm -hmm. Sterling and Glasgow. Aye, that's right. Mm -hmm. point. Mm -hmm. And I remember, you know, the old bona fide days where the locals couldn't yeah. They couldn't get in for a drink. The men that were drinking in the pub every day of the week, right. they had to travel and, yes. and the, it was, at that time it was the first pub.
on a Sunday from Glasgow, out yeah. to Cumbernauld. Mm -hmm. And it was mobbed every Sunday with people coming out from mm -hmm. Glasgow. Mm -hmm. So how did they get out on the bus? Aye, uh, come out. Uh, uh, there was very, very few cars. In fact, there wasn't any cars. I don't suppose that's why there wasn't any trouble with drink driving at right, that time, right. because people didn't have cars. Yeah, yeah. They came out with the bus. Was Kirkintilloch dry at that point? Kirkintilloch and Colside were both drys, and the village of Queenieburn had the only pub, and it's in between the two the two places, it's still there, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when you were at work, was the uh, union movement quite strong at that time? Um, well, I've never really been involved much with unions. My father was, mm -hmm. when he worked in the, in the brickwork, yeah. and I can remember, we lived in the, in the main street, and I, and I there was only room in kitchen and there was five of us in that room in kitchen. I can remember my father working in the brickwork and they were very strict against unions in this brickwork at Castle mm -hmm. Cary. Uh, that stains, the stains uh -huh. at Aldeal. And I can remember my father bringing men up to the house to hold meetings in mm -hmm. the room at the house so that they wouldn't know about the unions at, yeah. mm -hmm. at, the, at the work. Mm -hmm. And I suppose he was one of the instigators of unions starting. And mm -hmm. At uh, Castle Carroll, I was never involved in unions mm -hmm. myself. Mm -hmm. I was in a union once, I think, twice, only because I had to be in an mm -hmm. Did your father get into trouble for that at all? No, well, I, no. No, I, th I think it was just at, the, just at the time, it was probably they were having these meetings in the house about two years before he left. He didn't know he was leaving, but two years before he left to try and get the union going in the early days of the war. Mm -hmm. And it was after that that he had left to get the chance of the job in this bar, uh, which was, at that time, was a better job. Better. Mm -hmm. um, because the, the big one... Uh, oh. The, uh, the brick work affected his health quite a bit, mm -hmm. with, uh, with the dust. Mm -hmm. on the other. And he didn't uh, get any compensation? None, whatever. None, whatever. Mm -hmm. he, he only he died two years, two years ago. Yeah. He was 84. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he, although he had a bad chest, yeah. He, he lived a fair, mm -hmm. a fair old age, mm -hmm. between working the brickwork and working in the smoke and the pub. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, but it lapped the lights, his chest was very bad, you know, and it was just through the, the work at that yeah. time, mm -hmm. silicosis. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what sort of entertainment was there? I know you're an entertainer, but I meant as regards sports yeah. and things like that. Was the football team in Cumbernauld? There was, there was the local junior team, but it, it sort of closed up just in the early part of the, the war. I can only just barely mind the, the junior team that started again, you know, after the new town started. I can only barely mind of that. They did at one time have a, a fairly strong athletic club, mm -hmm. uh, amateur athletic club in Cumbernauld. Um, and they had, well, a big name to us at that time was a man by the name of Donkey Wright, I think was his name. Oh, and nice. He, he came out. He came out to the, the sports at the sports day at Cumbernauld mm -hmm. and the only other, well, the local cattle show was, oh. the local agricultural show was the other, the other thing that they held. Mm -hmm. Well, it had been quite a few places that I can remember, quite a few different where, venues. Where was, where was that held? Well, the first one I can remember is um, behind where the, the cooperative place is now, the cooperative warehouse. Oh, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Going towards the Glen from yeah. behind the cooperative. Yeah. Yeah. And they and started at South Muir Head Road as well when we first came to come That's there. right, I well, it went to South Muir Head Road and then it was down, it was down here in Springfield Road for the football park, yeah. it's now. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I think where else, where else it would be. I know that's where it was, as far back as I can remember yeah. being across the, in the avenue of the, the Glen. What kind of things happened at the capital show? It was, well, it was mainly the, the, the farmers with us, the livestock. I mean, that was a, this, a big thing, but then they had things like tug of war, and you know, you looking at sports things, they throwing hay and this sort of thing. Just a, a general yeah. fun, and then they fun day. Baking competitions. Baking competitions and gardening That's competitions, thing, yeah. plants and uh, the different things like that, and of course then there was always a beer tin that the farmers were in as well. <laughs> Did you have a garden yourself? Only very small, never oh. never a very big garden at all. Although I, we did live in the main street that had a fairly big garden, mm. but the people that belonged to the property had most of it, mm -hmm. and they, they laid out as a sort of lawn and those gardens quite big. And during the war you didn't go into the services? No, no, no I, I, National Service 1952. Mm -hmm. I went there only two years. And, mm -hmm. and Were there many days. people lost for me during the war? Um, no, I think the war memorial says 
24 or something mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. Is, mm-hmm. Is it so, it, quite a few of them. It's, it's a lot for a small village. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. One, of, one of my neighbours, uh, I can just remember him, and he was one of the first to be killed. The mm-hmm. one of the first to be killed in the war. Mm-hmm. But I think if I remember right, I remember his mother saying that she got a letter from the king, you know, saying that he'd mm-hmm. been killed. And mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Was there a lot of hardship for you during the war? Uh, no, I don't think so, because it, it, the fact that it was a, a, a small village and they were quite a close-knit community, mm. and if somebody was in trouble, then the rest mm-hmm. rallied round and, mm-hmm. and helped. You know, it was a good village community as far as I was concerned. Yeah. You didn't say much of air raids and things no. like that? No, no. I can barely mind of the... Well, I can mind of the, the, the five bank lit because my father was in the, had a, a fire service and the, the village at that oh, time. I was just going to ask you about that. Uh, they had a wartime fire service and mm-hmm. he was he was a member he was a member of that and I can always remember him getting called out to go to go to Clyde Bank mm-hmm. and we had to go across to live with an aunt and the main street I lived in the main street and they lived across the road we went to go across and live with him during the blitz. Mm-hmm. I had the, the, the fire service that did us the two nights that Clyde Bank and the, the top man in the fire service was um, Mr. Dent, and Dent the plumbers that's still here oh, now. Yes. Well, that's the father of, yeah. of uh, the Dent this year. Mm-hmm. And he was made the top man because he was a plumber and he was used to get up ladders. <laughs> 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 he was a plumber, he was used to get up he ladders. So, that, so he was yeah. qualified, so he was made the top man in the, yeah. in the fire brigade because of that. That was, that was, he was, yeah. and the man that was second in command, funny enough, still going about the village yet. John Stewart's his name. Mm-hmm. He still goes about the village. He was a second in command. I don't know why John got it. He was a second in command. Mm-hmm. And they tell me they had some queer stories to be told. There was an old stable they held the 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 um they kept the fire in. Well, it was a, a, just an engine with a pump <laughs> truck. They, 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 they trolled behind it. It was down the, the roadside as well. Mm-hmm. Some queer stories we've heard about that as well. <laughs> and then it was the local home guard. Mm-hmm. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye. Local home guard at the, the village at that time yeah. as well. Where, where, did they, where did they meet? The home guard. Yeah. And the, the wind, um, I think it's three, probably three doors up, there. it's now a house, but it's three doors up from where the village hall is. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, yes. the, the home guard met in there, and then I think that went to a... a at the end of the war, it went to an ATC, an air training corps. Oh. They took that over for mm-hmm. the for the air training. Mm-hmm. Just an old house that they had done up during mm-hmm. the war. Like and did you have children, you said? Yes, I've got two daughters. Um, one lived married and lives in Cyprus. Another, oh. another one's not married and lives in England. <laughs> he works in, works in the hospital and crew. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And did, where were they educated? Um, all his daughters started in the village school and then we moved to Sea Far. And then they, they both, one moved to Muirfield, I don't know why they, they, they changed the education, one went to Muirfield and the other went to... Uh, along the road to Muirfield. Kilda? No, the other way. Sea Far? Sea Far. Yeah. One went to, one went to uh, Muirfield, one went to Sea Far yeah. and then when they come to the senior school, all his daughter the, the, she went to come in Old High, That's right. mm-hmm. and then they changed the areas, and the younger daughter, yeah. she had to go to Green Falls. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So they were, they were at different, mm-hmm. they were different schools. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, the, 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 just talking about the two daughters, the local carnival, the, the yeah. coming all day. Mm-hmm. My father was one of the organisers of the original carnival, Crown of the Queen, before the war, 1937, I think, was yeah. the, the first one. Well, he was involved with the local talk eight, and the first one of these to be, he was one of the organisers of the, the first one that was held. And the first one that was held after the war, I took part in it. Mm-hmm. And since then, both my daughters have taken <laughs> part yeah, in, yeah. I, in mm-hmm. the, the, local, mm-hmm. the local carnival. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And where was the carnival in those days? Come an old house. Uh-huh. On the main steps mm-hmm. of Come an old house mm-hmm. was where they, where they held the yeah. thing. Mm-hmm. And it was a beautiful setting for it. Yeah. Beautiful setting yeah, before yeah. any of the offices round about yeah. were built. Yeah. Just the house that was sitting itself, mm-hmm. and it was really, really nice that they held at the carnival then, but that was it. the day you went out and put a tin in the ribbon around your neck and you get your cup of milk and <laughs> your bag of yeah, buns. Yeah. Good old days. Yeah.
And I was going to ask you when you were talking about the fire brigade, what about the police in Combinar? Um Was there a lot of trouble in those days when you were younger? Well, you never think there's trouble anyway when you're young, but I, I don't... <laughs> Especially when you're in the, in the middle of the I, I don't think so, because at that, well, at, at that time there was only one one constable in Cumbernauld. Yeah. But in saying that, there was one at Dillita, one at Condorit, one at Croy. And it was a sergeant that was at Croy, because yeah. the sergeant looked after Cumbernauld, mm -hmm. uh, Condorit, Dillita and Tweka. Mm -hmm. um, uh, when would they start? I'm trying to think. 19... 56 probably, 58, I'm trying to come back because I was a member of the special constabulary myself for, <laughs> for 32 years, <laughs> only retired, only resigned this year, at the mm -hmm. beginning of this year, mm -hmm. and I joined in 1958, and at that time it was still a constable, it was at Cumbernauld, mm -hmm. just shortly after I joined, that the yeah. sergeant got moved to Cumbernauld yeah. because he felt this was the start of the new town, mm -hmm. and that was when it was in the wine. Yeah, was that Sergeant Dixon? Or was that later? Uh, Sergeant Dixon, no. Sergeant John Dixon was a was a constable when I joined. It was a Sergeant Porter, mm -hmm. who was a sergeant. And uh, and then of course our, one of the Strathclyde chief constables, Pat Hamill. I worked oh, with yes. I worked with Pat here. I worked to beat with Pat when he was a sergeant here, mm -hmm. coming over old Dumbarton, mm -hmm. Dumbarton yes. County, uh -huh. Dumbarton County Police before mm -hmm. we went to Strathclyde. Mm -hmm. Pat Hamill come here as a sergeant. Yeah. Nice looking chap. Aye, mm -hmm. I've, I've gone very well with the name money was. And how did you feel about the new town starting up? Um, I, I never had anything against the new town at all. No. I never had anything. Probably the fact that I was that bit younger. My mm. father was never keen on it at all. No, no. Even though he was still the old village and envy spoke of. Year before you knew where Covernoid lived, where before you Covernoid was. Mm -hmm. Um, but no, I never had any ill feelings about it, uh, bad feelings about the new town at all. I bad feelings about it at all. Were both your mother and father coming all No, my mother was from Bank Knock. Oh, that's a long way. Far <laughs> 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 That was a completely different place. I mean, yeah. I was, Bank Knock was miles away. Mm -hmm. In fact, the, the, the people at Bank Knock used to call Cumbernauld the Treckle City. That was it. <laughs> that was the, the, uh, the nickname that Cumbernauld, yeah. I mean, even yet. You go down, you some of the old people in Bank Knock, and you say, you, you, you live in Cumbernauld, oh, the Treckle City. Oh, <laughs> well, right. Why I got that name, I don't know. Whether, whether it went to something that some of the brickworks are down there, it was a regular occurrence that the men got Treckle and their, their pieces for their, their work, I don't know, but this is what it would call the Treckle <laughs> City. And it's still, even yet, with some of the old people at Bank Knock, so mm -hmm. if you say you live in Cumbernauld, mm -hmm. for the Treckle City. Now, how did they carry out the courtship then? Oh well, that's, I don't know, I think it was just a case of walking, I think uh, it was a case of walking to Bank Knock. And <laughs> meeting halfway. Uh, meeting halfway, well, I, I think my father, used, I've heard him saying he used to go to Bank, he walked across to Bank Knock and then my mother walked back to about Wineford with him. Yeah. And then he walked, he came on to come and all this self and then she walked back home again. <laughs> <laughs> Did your grandparents come from this area too? Eh, uh, not, I don't, that I don't know. I couldn't tell you where. I know that my, my father was born right across the road from here, right across the other side, because there was a block of houses right opposite this, this hall. Mm -hmm. And that's because I had his, his birth certificate there, and he was, I was showing it to the minister. He was baptised in the, the Baird church, which was the one at the bottom of the, the main street. Oh, yeah. yes. Uh, I was shown to the minister when he, when he died because it was, it was signed in the back, baptised. I can't remember the, the minister's name. Mm -hmm. Baptised by. What name it was? We had Charles and gave the day. As he was, so he was, he was coming all those days. He was baptised in the Bear Church, and I was baptised in the the one in the wine. And I'm now in the congregational board of this one up here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a member of the local Burns Club. My father was a founder member of that as well. Mm -hmm. I just seem to be involved in everything. And yeah, now, yeah. now I've got involved here with the, with the senior citizen, yeah, with yeah, certain yeah. men that's about here. <laughs> <laughs> and you do entertaining as well, you say? Yeah, I, I, uh, I do a bit of singing. I entertain a bit of singing. In fact, this, this Saturday we've got my member of the bowling club. Mm -hmm. I'm committed with the bowling club. I'm a vice president of the Condorit Bowling Club. Um, I'm now a member of Cumbernauld Bowling Club. Mm -hmm. And I'm a member of the Kirk and Tillichan District committee 
for the for the, the bowling as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. This this weekend I'm singing at Cumbernauld. We have a coach load come from Erskine. We bring them out from Erskine, the lads from Erskine. Oh we yes, from them, the Erskine Hospital. And we entertain them for the afternoon and send them home with as much stuff as we can gather. Mm -hmm. So then, then I leave that and I go across to Queenieburn to senior citizens function across here on Saturday mm -hmm. night. So mm -hmm. I'm singing across here on Saturday mm -hmm. night. And then on a week on Sunday, I'm driving to Bosnia. <laughs> well, <laughs> the church. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're taking, I'm going with the minister, we're taking supplies out to, to Bosnia. So I've, I've, I feel quite, you know, I've, I've done my bit for the village. Mm -hmm. yeah, I've, I've, so I've, done, well. I've done my bit for the village. And you think it's a good place to live? I like it. Mm -hmm. I like it. I've never, I've never lived anywhere else. No. We've gathered that from one or two of the people we've spoken mm -hmm. to particularly the older generation, mm -hmm. feel that it's been, always I'd, been a good place to I, live. I did live, I did live up in Seafar for quite mm. some time, and then I moved back to the village again. Yeah. But I've always lived in Cumbernauld, apart from my two years national service. Mm. Mm. So what year did you go in national service? 1952. So, I mean, this is post-war. Yes, aye. Mm -hmm. no, it was 1952, 1954. So what places did you go before you were in? I was only, in, I was only, never out of the country, I was in England all the time. I um, went to Padgate and did my square bashing and then I went to, it was REF I was in. Mm -hmm. Padgate to do my square bashing and then I went to a place called Stoke Heath near Market Drayton in Shropshire. Oh, yes. 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 And uh, yeah. did my, the rest of my service here and that mm -hmm. was it. And the them sex. <laughs> and, and how old is the bowling club? I was going to ask you about uh, Coming old yeah. bowling club is, I think it's uh, 130 years now. Oh, mm -hmm. And that's its third location. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's its third location. Mm -hmm. It was from the Wilson and Spray when we first came. Yeah, that's it. Well, that's the only one I can remember. Yeah. But the, the, the club did a history for the 120th year. And we found, they found out, we, I don't know where the records, it was Billy Paul, who was a local councillor at one time, he did a bit of research, and it seems that there was a, a bowling club in the Smithy Ends, where, roughly where the car park is now, oh, in the Smithy yeah. Ends, mm -hmm. the, the, the original club started there. Yeah. It was about 130 year old now, mm -hmm. the bowling club. Mm -hmm. I believe there's a hall in the Talkie, uh, in the Smithy Ends, it used to be, what was it, Talkie? It's the Talkie Ends, that's right, that's right. It's, a, it's now, the, I believe it's the Orange Lodge that use it now, mm -hmm. in the Smithy Ends. In fact, there was two at one time, uh, half it had been demolished, there was two halls up the stairs. Um, one was at the Orange Hall and one was the, it was the old Brass Band Hall, originally. That's where they held their practice, that was thing my father was a member of as well. <laughs> and I was in it for a very short time. I'm afraid I'd go with instruments, <laughs> but um, he was in the, the brass band, the quite good brass band, I don't know if we got somewhere in the house somewhere that was taken before the war, mm -hmm. the, the brass band. But there was the two holes in the smithy ends. There was the two holes in the smithy ends, there was the, the scout hall, there was the Masonic hall, there was the, what we called the old church hall, which mm -hmm. was the parish church hall, mm -hmm. and then there was the, the village, the St Andrew's church, was the one in the smithy ends, they had a small hall in behind as mm -hmm. well, so they had all these halls in the yeah. village itself, and now we've got two, yeah. from the Mount of Folk that's in the place now, yeah. Yeah. the village. Yeah, yeah. it seems mm -hmm. long, doesn't it, mm -hmm. I was surprised on a previous recording to, to find that all the children, Catholic and Protestant, all went to the same school. Here. That's right, they did, all, all went to, mm -hmm. to Cumbernauld, mm -hmm. aye. Um, it was only post-war that they started mm -hmm. going to Croy. Mm -hmm. Catholic started to go into mm -hmm. Croy. Previous to that, we all went to the same school, and mm -hmm. to be it's ridiculous mm -hmm. that you've got to go to different schools. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. I think that's where a lot of the trouble starts. Mm -hmm. It's schooling. Mm -hmm. I think that's where a lot of the trouble starts. Mm -hmm. in no, just them both sides to it. Yeah. What it's wrong. Mm -hmm. I think everybody should get educated. Mm -hmm. You'll have seen a big change in the accommodation provided in Cumbernauld Village as well as regards housing, from when you very early days. Oh. For the amount of houses... And uh, no, the quality of the houses. Oh, aye, aye, yeah, well, as I say, um, we lived, there was five of us mm. lived in a room and kitchen. Mm. Now, they built prefabs here, in this, oh. this area here, for the, for the complex things now, mm -hmm. they built prefabs here. And my father had obviously had his name in for one of these, these prefab houses. And there was no bathroom in the house either. There was only, there was a toilet inside. Mm -hmm. And the fact that we had a toilet inside and we had a, a kitchen, a scullery, 
when you really get was a scullery, a scullery and a toilet inside. We didn't qualify for one of these prefabs, and that was five was in that room in Kitchen. Mm. And I can remember during the war, it was five, and I can remember during the war that two nights, uh, two nights after the Clyde Bank Blitz, but a family lodging was in the room in Kitchen. They back east for Clyde Bank. Yeah. You know, they just pulled mm -hmm. in, but yeah. mm -hmm. no. Mm -hmm. And they were, they were moved, there was quite a lot moved out to Cumbernauld. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can remember there was two nights that the family living was in that room in Kitchen mm -hmm. as well themselves. So the houses in the main street had sort of pens running off them and were there houses down the back? There was, some of them had houses down the back. There was there was houses in where the Black Bull is now. There's a, there's a pen there. That was called the Library Cro Close because there was a library there at one time. That was called the Library Cro Close and there was houses down the back there. And then next to Paul's the Butcher, so there's still a close to his houses in behind there. Um, where the paper shop is, there's a close there that was called the bank close because that used to be a bank, the mm -hmm. paper shop at one time. Mm -hmm. And there was houses through there. There was quite a lot of houses in the in the banks, the, you know, off the main street. Mm -hmm. yeah. Somebody told me once that there used to be a lot of holiday accommodation. People came out from Well, the there was a lot of people. I know there was there was houses in the, the wine that there was people that come from Glasgow for holidays. They mm -hmm. had that, I don't know who belonged to them, but that was the only time they were used for mm -hmm. people that came out and mm -hmm. and holidays. And there was holiday huts up at the uh, Green Falls area. Mm -hmm. the people at Lindsay Mill. Lindsay Mill. Lindsay oh, Mill. Right. Mm -hmm. the, there used to be a level crossing That's there. Right, well, yes. the, the field. If you were going from Cumbernauld Station in towards Condora, mm -hmm. the field on the left hand side. There was holiday huts in there. There used to be quite yeah. a lot of people come from Glasgow mm -hmm. there. Down by the luggy there. Uh, that's mm -hmm. right, that's mm -hmm. right, yeah, by the luggy. Mm -hmm. So it was a holiday resort as yeah. well for people from yeah. Glasgow. And uh, I also heard that they were pick they were going to kill its soldiers here during the war. Somebody said, do you remember that they were going to kill its soldiers here, or was that in the first world? They had, they had soldiers, they had, they had a, 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 a searchlight battery and Ward Park, I don't know where I'm trying to think of it, is now in behind Oki Ice Place. Oh, yes. Remember the airstrip is now? Yes. Mm. Remember the airstrip? Yes, there was a battery yeah. there, mm. and there was there was soldiers billeted there, but I can't remember any of them mm -hmm. being in houses. I know there were soldiers billeted in, in there during the war. Mm -hmm. Did they have any prisoner of war in this area earlier on? Um, working on the farms. Uh -huh. They did have them working on the farms. The camp was at... Um, just in the hills above Bank Knock. Castle Hankey was the name of the camp. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Halloween well, lives there. Aye. Yeah. Aye, well, that's, that's where the camp was, and they used to bring them down with lorries to work in the, the farms. It was Italian prisoners first, and then latterly the German prisoners got out to, to work as well. Sent them to the brickworks. Too. That's right, they were in the brickworks working. Mm -hmm. White Cross. Aye, they were that's right. Mm -hmm. But there was quite a few of them working in the local farms or something, maybe had two or three, three of these men working in the, in the farms mm -hmm. at one time. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's very interesting, that's interesting. <laughs> yes. I'll just have a, have a look through here. I was going to ask about milk deliveries, but I think that was going to be earlier on. Milk delivery? Yes. I can remember the, 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 the farm, McLaughlin's farm, Green Yard's farm, he used to come round with a, with a cart with a milk. In the bike with it, oh, the with the jugs, with the jugs. Yeah. Yeah. The pony, yeah. You took your jug out and they yeah. poured, a, poured a pint of milk. Yeah. The cooperative did a, a milk run, but they had a lorry that, that doubled up. It trebled up because it was a lorry that they, they carried coal in, <laughs> and they had a van that they lifted off yeah. and a, with, a, with a block and tackle, and they delivered bread <laughs> and that, and then there's another one that they took milk out in yeah. as well. So they did that, that one mm. lorry belonging to the cooperative did. The, the, lot, the, the milk run, the bread run, the coal run. Yeah. Uh -huh. And at that time, they put the cooperator from the village, there was, there was a, the grocery, the draper, mm -hmm. the bakers, and the butchers. Mm -hmm. they'd, they'd yeah. And all in different places too, wouldn't mm -hmm. they? One to one building, yeah. different shops, they're all mm -hmm. different shops. Were they the only baker in the village? No, there no. was, the, the, they didn't bake. It no. was, the come from Glasgow. Mm -hmm. Uh, no, there was two bakers in the, the village. Watson was one, and Brown was the other one. Mm. And the two bake houses are still there yet, by the way. They're mm. still they're still in the village yet. Mm -hmm. The one at the car park and the the wine 
when you when you go into the yeah. car park yes. in the wine, the building facing you. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. That was a bakehouse. That was yeah. that was Browns. Mm -hmm. And if you go in the smithy ends and opposite the car park, you turn into the left as if you go down to the car park mm -hmm. in the wine. There's a, there's a space in the, in the wall there on the right hand side and there's a building in through that, that arch and that was the other, the other bakehouse in there and there was old coke mm -hmm. ovens that had because I worked in I worked in the Watsons once because I had it <laughs> making the pie shelves and <laughs> so I remember Lecky Baker was yes. that an incomer? aye that's the right well he, he took over he took over from Brown and then he took over the Watson one as well I said, like he's still living here two doors away from you. Mm -hmm. still here in the complex, yeah. Mm -hmm. Lecky, right? mm -hmm. She's still here. That's right, Mrs. Lecky. Is she your company all? No, 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 no. I don't know where they are. I think they were the Ayrshire Cumnock area, I think, mm -hmm. the company originally. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But there was two, there was, there was three baker shops, although there was only two that the baker in Cumberland all. The other one was done with a cooperator for UCBS, it was that day. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. They used to bring the stuff out every morning. And the milk come, cooperator milk come from Falkirk, the creamery Falkirk. Mm -hmm. So did you go out of Cumbernauld very much, like into Glasgow, Falkirk, or Stirling, rare occasions? Uh, Falkirk, would, I, I would say, would be the, because as a young person, the, probably the biggest attraction to me was the ice rink at Falkirk. The, the ice rink there, we used to go there play mm -hmm. a lot. Uh, before, they would be there three times a week <laughs> for ice skating. Mm -hmm. And they go to Glasgow an awful lot, and Stirling was a place for some reason or other Cumbernauld people didn't. There was a lot of Cumbernauld people went to Airdrie. Mm -hmm. Well, come around and people did the shopping in Airdrie mm -hmm. at, at one time. Mm -hmm. Does that mean there was a bus service? That's right, there was a bus service from Falkirk. Came through Allendale, come around and then to Airdrie. Mm -hmm. There was a Falkirk, Falkirk Airdrie service from Allendale. We used to get to the top of the road in this place. Yeah, that's that's right. That. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's right. And one of the other ladies talked about the Easy OZ bus. It just Aye. Came when it that's right, that was. Uh, that was John White. It, it's, it'd be Bell at the station. Yes. Eric's, yes. Eric's grandfather would be Eric. Yes. It, was, it was his grandfather that had it. They used to do a run, a, a, a sad, they did the school run. It was something took you to yeah. Croy for the school. Mm -hmm. But they did, he had a service on a Saturday and it left Cumbernauld at half past four and took you across to Kosai for the first house of the pictures starting at five o'clock. And then it came back from there and it picked up men from Croy that were coming to Condor and come and all for a drink because there wasn't a pub in That's Croy. Right. Mm -hmm. they brought, he brought them across and by the time he brought them across it was time to pick up the second load to go back to go side for the second house of pictures. <laughs> he picked up the people coming out of the first house and bringing them back to Cumbernauld <laughs> and then the pubs closed at half past nine at that time and he yeah. picked up the men to go back to Croy and went to go see and picked up the folk coming out of the bus and it's not the first night we've well, had to get out of the bus and shove it up the hill at Smith and Bray. Easy Ozzy, Easy Ozzy told me he had an old pump yeah. horn outside yeah. his bus he used to, used to be dumb white. You better organise than they are now. Yeah. They always live at uh, the Bell's Village. At the station, yeah. that's right, aye. Uh -huh. Well, it, the, the buildings, no, the buildings demolished now that, that they were in. It was on the same side as the station. Mm -hmm. There was a station building and then there was a, a, the, the garage and the house before that, a close to Green Yard, no Green Yard Farm, Glen Crane Farm, I think was the name of the, the farm. But it was the same side as the station. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. right, there was a station and the, 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 a yard in behind for coal and parcels at the station at that time as well. And his garage was beside that where his old bus and the house was there. Mr. Rutherford, I think it was a love night door, I'm George Rutherford. Well, Mr. Broadhead, the teacher, that's who it was. And George Rutherford moved in here. You have seen the demise of quite a lot of farms in there. Oh, yeah, I've When I was working with Blackwood Hodge, that's where I've worked the last 20 years, and there was some lads started one day and they were asking me if I'd lived in Cumberland all along, the boys had moved out from Glasgow, mm -hmm. Newton Overspill and asked me if I'd lived coming all along. I was telling them I used to get time off the school to go and pick tatties where they were yeah. working. Yes. Because we did at that time, we got time mm -hmm. off the school. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, October? Yeah, we got a couple of weeks off the school to go and help to pick the, the potatoes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And got an ankle with something or something like that. Mm -hmm. And I was damned hard work. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One of the ladies was telling us about the haymaking in Common Orbit, mm. wasn't she? The field up. Where was that one she said? I, I can't remember exactly where it was. She used to ride on the cart coming through the village. Not what? far from the church there was a... I mean, uh, is it, would it be where Dobies is? The farm where Dobies is? I mean, Ed Farham? No. That was Young's that was in there. Mm -hmm. It was near the village, I think, wasn't it, she said? It appeared to be from her description. Right. It, I, I, I don't know just no, where there, no. there, there was one opposite, right opposite where the, the petrol station is as well. Yeah. The, the old Inns, the old Inns Farm it was called. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was right opposite the petrol yeah. station at the old Inns. Yeah. We used to go to that as well, didn't the Castle Cary to the farm that got key, the Garden Hall, mm -hmm. the name of the farm. And wh what was the farm where the youth centre was? What? Westerwood. Westerwood, aye. Westerwood, aye. It's only, it was just one of the one of the farms, nothing yeah. particular about no, it, just, no. a, just one of the, the farms that, that wasn't demolished for the, the development corporation for mm. the development. Mm -hmm. Do you remember Dalita? Um, I mean, Dalita has obviously changed a lot. Uh, Did aye. you visit there much? We went up at one time as kids because there was a lot of, there was one of the big houses, Richmond House. Yeah. Um, it was totally taken over during the war for the Vikies mm -hmm. from Clyde Bank. I, I think that's the third one, can you get into the old the third one on the left hand side? I think it was, I don't know if it's still there or not. Yes it is. It is, yes. Richmond House. Um, it was totally taken over by the Vikies, I don't know, there would probably be ten families in at that time. The Cumberland Old House was the same during the war. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was a big part of that taken mm -hmm. over with for the Vikies as well. And you'll remember the old cottages at the canal? Yep. Yes. Aye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I, can, I can remember the cottages and I can remember the wooden erection where the, the fairy queen, the gypsy queen, you yeah. never seen the boats, mm -hmm. but I, I can remember the, the tea room yeah, that they mm -hmm. had mm -hmm. at the side of the, mm -hmm. the, 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 the mm -hmm. Craig Marler. Yeah. Why, and I don't know where they got this name for Craig Marler. That they no, 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 it's, it's nowhere near, it. it's no, nothing near no, Craig Marler. No, that's mm -hmm. right. But I was sorry to see the cottages go, I think they could have been kept. Yeah, but really I'm, pleased, really I'm pleased to hear that there's somebody doing the one at Wainford. Yes, that's the right. Yes. Done. I'm pleased yeah. to hear yes. that there's somebody doing that. Yeah. It's a pity to see these old mm. cottages being yeah. demolished. Mm. Yeah. And tell me, do you know anything about that building that was demolished near the Wainford that had the minarets on the top? That was a distillery. That was a distillery. Do you know anything about a, that? A bank no. That was a, a bank uh, yeah. bankier. Yeah. Yeah. Bankier distillery. Yeah. The only thing I know is that my, father, my grandfather used to work in it. That was my mother's. Oh. My mother's father. He used to he used to work in it, but yeah. I can't remember. But I think he was eventually black and white. Whiskey mm -hmm. was mm -hmm. it belonged to. Mm -hmm. so that's the only thing I knew about that. Yeah. I thought that was a pity when that was demolished because mm -hmm. it was it's a good-looking building. Ah, it's a pity to yeah. see some of these old old see that. That's one thing I did like about Cumbernauld, the village, that the development corporation at least kept the frontage that's right. mm -hmm. on a lot of the old buildings mm -hmm. and the in the main street. Mm -hmm. There's two of the buildings at the top of the main top end of the main street opposite. It's number. 70 or 70, 80, something like that. And there's two dummy windows up the stairs in that. And years ago, I mean, these dummy windows have always been there. But years ago, there used to be a drawing on it, and it was a drawing as if it was a woman sitting there. Mm -hmm. They were drawn out with curtains and a woman's face in both these windows. Because mm -hmm. when I worked in Alexander, went to see my apprenticeship as Alexander, there was an old man worked here from Glasgow. We used to travel every day in the bus and at that time the buses came along the road and mm -hmm. come up through the village. Mm -hmm. All the buses came through the village at that time. And this man used to kid me on. Are these two old women still sitting up at that <laughs> sitting up at that window? They had, they had actually drawings in the windows as if it was as if mm -hmm. they were they were pretty good too. And how long was your apprenticeship? Five years. Five years. Mm -hmm. And what was that for? Panel being welding. Mm -hmm. For the coach building. Mm -hmm. Coach building side. Quite a good firm to work for, Alexander's. Well, at that time, I I don't know. I'm, I set my apprenticeship there, and then I did my national service. And then um, when I came back, it was only for a year. And I went to work in the place in Stirling, in Drip Road in Stirling. But they were very, very strong union. Mm. And I wasn't too keen on the, the strong union side at all. And that's when I come to come back to come and all to work with mm -hmm. intercity transport. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I've loved working coming all. Since then, mm -hmm. until I got paid off in November, and I've never worked since. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't think you've got time to work. <laughs> no, <I don't laughs> where did your wife come from? Um, Bannockburn. Oh, 
Banabana. Kalgan is her own name. Now you say earlier on when I asked you what your grandparents did, you didn't know what your one grandparents did, didn't you? I will have I'm on, on, on my mother's side. Uh -huh. I can remember my grandmother I can just remember her no more. I was mm -hmm. only probably six or seven when she died. Mm -hmm. And my grandfather he didn't die until nineteen fifty three because mm -hmm. it was in the the forces when, when he died. Mm -hmm. I can remember him. Mm -hmm. He worked in the, the distillery yeah. with the my grandparents on my father's side, the boyle side. You don't remember I don't him. don't remember. I can remember some of his aunts and mm -hmm. uncles mm -hmm. who were Thorburns that lived in the, the village for years and still mm -hmm. some of them living here as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. I remember Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Um well my, my, my grandmother was a Thorburn. My father's mother. Her name was Thorburn. Um, did one of the Thorburns was she not married to Banner, the man who was a councillor? Yes, that was I that would her her father was a cousin of my father's. Her father was a cousin of my father's. My sister, her mother still lives along. She's in the home along at Kandora, the Rana uh Code Mill. Because I seem living. to remember visiting her mother down in the village. Maureen, that's Maureen. Aye, Maureen is the same age. Maureen and I were in school together. Aye, aye. Mrs. Thorburn lived in. When my father retired, he went into Mainhead Terrace down here. Mrs. Thorburn lived next door. Well, they lived exactly next door to. So they had been here a long while as well. Why they were? Aye. Maureen's father would be from Cumbernauld originally. Her mother. She went to come on she went to come on all the station. I'm going to be in the place. Right, right, right. That was a different place. <laughs> now, you said you'd seen your grandfather, or was it your father's birth certificate? Aye. And you, right. Now, on that, on the birth certificate, it would give the place of his parents' marriage. Now, you mentioned sometimes you don't notice that, no, okay. but it's actually on that. On that? Yes. And if you